versions. Uh, it starts uh, with originally just sitting in on a rehearsal, um, and I have my notepad, like 50 pages, and I fill up the whole notepad by the end of the rehearsal just with notes and cues, um, what kind of emotions I want to convey where and what lines I want to be, or what lines I want to have music underneath them and what I don't. Um, ironically enough, planning the space is the most important part. The music is, is of course important, but the absence of music I find is a little bit more important, uh, which is kind of interesting. But after that original sketch, that's just using words, then I go on to actual thematic material, so I'll get out um, like a music notation software or just pen and paper. Um, and I write themes. Uh, at the top, um, we have the main theme, which is uh, the Pony Boy theme. Uh, it's very crude, but these touches, uh, these sketches tend to be crude. Uh, I split it up into two sections: the A section and the B section. Um, after those rough sketches, um, which are actually like pairing notes and themes to where I want them in the in the book, then you go. Um, and sit at the piano and noodle for hours and hours. And so from there, you usually score the entire show uh, just for a piano, solo piano. Um, and then after that, you expand it to all the instruments. So in my case, I have uh, two trumpets, a piano, guitar, bass guitar, and drums. So it's just a matter of taking what I wrote for piano and extrapolating it, um, and including very nice uh, flugelhorn solos and things like that. connection with music. Uh, I hear it in my head all the time. Uh, the comparison I use is if uh, you're listening to music with earbuds or headphones, that's like me, but I won't need the earbuds or headphones. I hear it without them, just in my head. And usually it's new music that I'm composing on the spot. Um, and it has the funny uh, characteristics of, of reacting to how um, my day is going or how I feel in a specific point in time. Um, or what events are happening around me. So it's almost like I'm composing a score for my own life um, spontaneously, and I can't turn it off. So when it happens, I'm stuck with it, even if I'm writing a test, which is a little inconvenient. Um, I'm not gonna complain too much though. Uh, so I suppose for me personally, it's a, it's a, it plays a very intimate role in my life and a very special and close role. Um, because it's something I'm very passionate about and I have a, a strong emotional connection to it and I, I just love it. All the flutes, all of the clarinets, all of the saxophones, uh, oboe, English horn, uh, bassoon, contrabassoon, uh, trumpet, cornet, flugelhorn, French horn. I've been trying to play trombone, it's not working out very well. Uh, cello, viola, double bass, and everything in your percussion section. Uh, I actually had to learn harp, um, but I gave up on that very quickly because it's incredibly difficult. So I'm not sure I'd call myself a harpist, but I also play piano, and that's more of a, a compositional tool than, uh, than an instrument that I play. It's a very uh, common trend for most of them. Um, the fact that someone needed someone to play that instrument, so I learned how to play it. Uh, either that, or the fact that as a composer I need to know how to write for each individual instrument, so I took it upon myself to learn how to play that instrument so I can uh, better myself in writing for that instrument. Because um, every instrument is very particular, there are some notes that are so pretty and perfect, and there are some that are really ugly, um, and it takes being able to play that instrument to know which notes those are. I'm pretty sure it was grade 10. Um, that was the year um, I learned how to play the flute and the oboe and the English horn and the bassoon and the French horn. That was a, that was a big um, exponential year for me in music, I think. 
uh, there was no event that triggered it. I just started playing music more, and I started liking it more. Hmm. So it was just a gradual but exponential change. They won't see anything from me. I'm locked in a, um, a concrete box in the basement of the theater, uh, but they will hear from me, hopefully. And hopefully it's, it's beautiful music. Um, hopefully. <laughs>